It's nutritionist Trisha Manis, and I am so happy because I have a client that's when that's been with me for just four weeks right now. She has a very inspiring, hopeful story that I'm very excited to share with you. Her name is Sharon Falconberry. She's 64 years old. She's in Iron City, North Carolina. Thank you. Iron Station. Iron Station. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, Sharon, and for the correction. I'm really glad that you're here. So Thank you. you're welcome. I want you to think about how you felt with your health and your weight four weeks ago. So you've been with me for four weeks, but I want you to take yourself, teleport yourself back to that very first call conversation we had. And I actually have my notes from that first call with me in front of me. And I want you to tell our viewer right now, why did you even want to talk to me? What was going on with your health, your weight, and how you felt four weeks ago? I had just met with the doctor two days earlier, and it was a new doctor because we had to change our insurance change, so we had to pick out a new doctor. And I was just frustrated with him. He he wanted to put me on another drug a fourth drug for my diabetes because my A1C was 7.6. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask me any questions about what I'd been doing or anything, nothing. He didn't know me. Mm -hmm. And all he wanted to do was put me on it. He really wanted me to, he really wanted me to go on Ozempic, mm -hmm. but my insurance does not cover that. Right. So, you know, you know, I'm not going to pay a thousand dollars a month for a drug that may or may not work, you know. And I, I, didn't, I didn't have thousand dollars. And you were already on Jardians at that time too. No, that was the new drug that he gave. He wanted me to go on was Jardians. He said, "Well, let's try Jardians." Okay. That was the fourth drug that that I that he started me on. And it was five hundred and something dollars a month, but. Oh, it's just ridiculous that they don't, the doctors don't listen to you. I mean, I've been a diabetic for 26 years, I believe, since 1998. I was just, you know, I was giving up. This was my last hope. Mm -hmm. You know, I tr I've tried Weight Watchers. I've tried Physicians Weight Loss. I've been to a chiropractor. I mean, I've done everything trying to, to figure out how to control my sugar. And my eating, I mean, I was, this was my last hope. And you did gastric bypass in the past. Again, as well. I did gastric bypass. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. I was desperate then. That was back in 2005. And I lost the weight and I went off all my drugs. But then it slowly crept back up my weight and I had to go back on the drugs. Mm -hmm. That's a very common experience. That's a common experience. So how were you feeling physically? For very weeks? tired all the time. Tired. I couldn't walk. I didn't have the strength or energy to walk. Um, I just, I've given up. You know, I've given up. I just, I thought, I told myself, well, I'm just going to eat and make myself happy with food and be done with it. <laughs> And how long were you feeling that way? I remember when we first spoke that you're like, I want to walk, but I just can't. And it had been months that you were walking regularly. How was all of this impacting you and how you felt about yourself? I, I was, I, I was at a low point uh, in, in my health because I want to be able to, I, this is my golden years. I'm retired. I should be able to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. go places and do things but I, I just didn't have the energy to do that mm -hmm. you know and my my husband he's he's in pretty good shape but I couldn't do anything with him mm -hmm. you know I hated that mm -hmm. and I got a grandbaby coming in December I want to be able to play with her mm -hmm. and I just didn't have the energy to do that yep so you came to me with no energy multiple medications for diabetes and a1c of 7.6 and other medications for blood pressure, cholesterol, had stents previously as well. And mm -hmm. you were really at a point where 
and correct me if I'm wrong, that you were feeling hopeless. I was, I was hopeless. I was at the last day. This is the last, this was the last draw. What <laughs> made you considering all of that? What made you sign up for a call with me? Even though it sounded like you almost had given up already. What made you schedule a call to talk to me? Well, when I saw, I think I saw your post on Facebook. I read it and I thought, well, this is interesting. I wonder if, I wonder if it works. And I, I decided to give you a call because I had I had earlier thought to myself, I need to find a nutritionist that can help me. And um, and then I saw you your post on I think it's Facebook, that's where I saw it. Yeah. So I decided to call to make the call. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. You had your husband right by your side on that call. And yeah. you decided to hire me. And we'll talk about that experience in a little bit, but it's been four weeks now that you've been eating optimally for what, what have you achieved? What has changed with your health in just this really short period of time? Well, um, after about a week and a half, I went off of one, um, diabetic drug mm -hmm. And then about two and a half weeks, I think it was, I went off uh, the the Jardians. Yeah, you know, the Jardians. And I also went off the blood pressure because one week's time, my blood pressure was 75 over 58 a lot of mornings. I mean, it was low. And I knew it was too low because I had looked it up to see what normal blood pressure is. Mm -hmm. And mine was way too low. Yeah. So, so I, I have time to to cut the drugs right then. Yeah. I, so like I have your notes in front of me, the therapeutic effect of the food. In addition to you already taking drugs that was pushing it down. Now the therapeutic effect of eating optimally was also pushing the blood pressure down. So you had to get off the, the blood pressure drug. Other it would, it would not have been safe otherwise. So you got right. off a blood pressure medication within a week and a half. And then also off the Actos in a week and a half. Yeah. Yeah. The two, yeah. The two diabetic and the blood pressure medicine off within, you know, left two and a half weeks for both of them. What did that feel like for you to achieve well, it so quickly? It was great feeling being able to go off medicine and all, and there weren't, weren't any side effects that I could tell going off except for my um, blood sugar stayed the same. It stayed down. My blood pressure stayed at a good level. It didn't change. You know, it actually went up. It went up to what it needed to be, like 100 or so. Right. But um, So what else has it? My energy level is so high. That is just amazing. And my husband keeps saying, I, I just don't believe how this diet, he calls it diet, which it is, this optimal eating is making us have so much energy that, you know, we can do anything. I mean, he he is a, um, anytime I tried any other diet, he was against it, you know. Yeah. But this one, he is totally for it because it's, it's food he loves anyway. So, you know. That wasn't a challenge, but he has so much energy because he walks, he walks more than I do, mm -hmm. but it's just amazing. That makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. So you're more energized. What are you doing with that energy? How has having that energy changed your life? How has it changed? Well, I'm not sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. And how is that affecting you? And, and I was usually when I go and do something with my mother, it's an all day thing and she's in the hospital right now. But when I came home last night, usually I collapse because I'm tired because it's, you know, I was there eight hours yesterday, but I was not tired last night. I, I didn't go to bed till 1130 last night and usually 10 o'clock I'm sleepy, but I was still energized last night, even though. Yesterday was an off day. Yeah. 
because of I was at the hospital and all, but um, just the energy level. And just this morning, I was waiting on the call to start, and I was cleaning up the kitchen, getting it ready, because I got to go back to the hospital after I finished with you. And um, just the, the, it's just amazing, the energy level that that this optimally eating does for you. It's just, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's food is fuel. So it's really, it's a really a beautiful thing. And I, t and I say to people, if you want more energy, food is what's going to give it to you. We just have to make sure it's the right fuel, especially when you're 60, 70s and 80s, eating less and severe calorie restriction, trying to do that to lose weight, but also get more energy is never going to work. So it's, it's a direct effect of many of the optimal foods that you're eating in addition to no longer ha needing to be on all those additional medications too, because of the food that you were eating, which is beautiful. And I know we were talking yesterday and you were giving me some scenarios of where you're not, you're not out of breath and you're able to complete some tasks for yourself without being out of breath. Are you comfortable sharing what those are? Yes, I can bend over in the shower and wash my lower extremities without getting out of breath. I can polish my toenails. <laughs> um, what else can I do? Just, just cleaning the house. It used to take me all day to clean house because I do it all in one day because I can't stand just doing one day, one room a day. I can't do that. I have to yeah. do it all I'm done with cleaning the house in three hours now instead of it taking all day. I don't have to sit down after I do, you know, dust or whatever, take a break. No, I can do it all in three hours and I'm done. That's awesome. I'm, and I'm looking, at, <laughs> I'm looking at your evidence list right now. And there's one that I think others are really going to be able to relate to. And I'm having my fingers crossed that this is okay that I'm saying this out loud, but if not, I can edit it out. But um, you said, I stood up off the pot today after yeah. one. Week. Yes. Tell us about that. That's life changing stuff right there. I have issues with my knees and my knees are, are a lot better. I mean, I'm not having any pains with them. And I, I used to have going up and down stairs. I would have pains with my knees. So when you sit down, you got to get back up. And I used to have to pull myself back up off the pot. But now I can just stand up and there's no issues at all with doing that. <laughs> so I just the stairs, I used to have to hold on to the rail to walk down the stairs. I don't have to do that no more. I can just walk walk down the stairs and I'm good. I That's mean awesome. it's and again, yeah. a reminder for the viewer. You achieve some of these goals within four weeks, like being able to just get up off the toilet. That was yeah. one week. And yes. so some of these results are like some of the medications, what, a week and a half, two weeks. It depends. I want the viewer to know this, just that depending upon what the state of your health situation, optimal mm -hmm. can help very, very, very quickly. Yes. But we haven't even talked about weight loss yet. So the... Optimal eating is incredibly anti-inflammatory. So when I was a nutritionist at USC, I was the lead nutritionist for a dietary inflammation research study. So really well-versed on the, the pro or anti-inflammatory effects of food. Not only is optimal eating helping with your diabetes and your blood pressure, it's also very anti-inflammatory, which is why your knees aren't hurting as much. Also, for every one pound of fat you lose, research shows you lose four pounds of pressure off your knee. So that together, because in four weeks, you're also down eight pounds. But you, I want to make this clear to the viewer, is that the totality of everything you're experiencing experiencing right now therapeutically beneficially is not just because you've lost eight pounds you could have lost eight pounds in a myriad of many different ways and it would not have had the breadth the the impact on all of these other things you're experiencing with your health because the food in and of itself has a very additional therapeutic effect above and beyond weight loss. It's like the weight loss is a side effect of the food helping your body so much. Have you had that experience in the past where you've lost weight before, but you didn't feel nearly as good as you feel now? 
Yes, I, I lost the weight, but I had no energy. Mm -hmm. Before in the and I had to eat stuff that I didn't like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is not going to be sustainable. Yeah. Right. And do you like the food that you're eating now? Oh, I love it because I love vegetables. Mm -hmm. I've always loved vegetables. So, yeah, the food is great. And the other optimal foods in addition to vegetables, too. Yes. Yes. And I, I mean, I've gotten to the point that I just, I won't cook no more. Yeah. I didn't care. About cooking. But I, I'm enjoying my cooking now. And Bill's, my husband, he's he's helped me with the cooking all too. He's enjoying it. He's going to make vegetable soup today. So oh, um, I like that. That's beautiful. And right before we press record, you were about to tell me a story about how your friends are noticing differences in you. And tell me more about that, what you were going to talk to me about originally. One particular friend, she said, you're glowing today. And I said, well, I feel pretty good today. And I, I and I, she knew I was trying something, but she didn't know what I was trying. And I told her, I said, we are eating optimally. And that means we're eating whole plant food and we're not eating meat and dairy and eggs and stuff like that. We're not eating that. We're, we, we are eating whole plant foods. And she said, what? And I told her what it was and all. And she said, well, that sounds pretty good. And she actually told me the other day, she said, I fixed my husband rice and beans the other day for nice. lunch. <laughs> so maybe I'm going to inspire her to, to get on the program because she needs to. Well, but. I really, I have faith that you're, st I know even within our group, you are really inspiring other people. And I have faith that this video is also going to inspire other people to, in the very least, I think a lot of women, and let me know if this was true for you before you talk to me, is they don't know that this is even possible. I didn't think it was possible, but I was willing to to try it because it, this was my last resort. I told you this, this was it. I wasn't going to do nothing else mm -hmm. if this didn't work, but it's worked. I mean, it has worked. So any regrets? No, no, not at all. What mm -mm. would you what would you say to the person right now who has 50 plus extra pounds to lose? They're on medications for their blood work. They don't have energy. They're recently retired, but they don't have energy to do anything. They're not comfortable in their clothes, but they have tried so many things. So they are, they are scared. They are terrified. They just heard you talking about eating plants and they're like, what? And now they're scared of what, you know, what they're not going to eat anymore. What would yeah. you say to that person right now? Give it a try. I mean, that's what I was, I was doing. I was willing to give it a try because I was at my last resort. I mean, I had tried all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And the 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 thought that you could eat vegetables, any because you know, a diabetic, they're not supposed to eat potatoes. Mm -hmm. That's that's a half a cup of sugar, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and rice the same way. Just give it a try and see how you do. But it's not just the weight loss. The weight loss is great. I'm glad I'm losing weight. But just being able to get off the meds, mm -hmm. that is my main goal. I wanted to get off the medicine because I knew it wasn't good for my body. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yep. And now you have something to replace how you can help yourself with. That's just way more effective. And the side yeah. effects are only good things and not potentially dangerous ones. So it's a whole lot cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story. I I look forward to doing this again in six more weeks when it's been 10 full weeks of you eating awfully because this is really just the beginning. So yeah. thank you for sharing the beginning of your story. Anything else you want to say before we hang up? Just give Trish a try. <laughs> I'm it's so really glad good. you did. I'm And quite frankly, to be honest with you, I'm really proud of myself because if... If I can relay 
to someone what is really possible for them and do a great job with that communication that allowed you, and of course, truthful and honestly, allowed you to say yes, despite the fact that you were scared and had given up hope. And if I can honestly relay what is possible when you didn't think it was possible and you go for it, then I feel like I've done my job because you experiencing this is why I'm here at all and what makes me really happy. So I'm secretly proud of myself for how I handled our call because I knew what was possible for you. So I'm really glad that you and your husband yes. and he was there for that call, which I loved. And it was beautiful. Um, that he's all, for, he's all for it. Good. That's great. Cause a lot of women are scared about how family's going to respond to it. But what ends up happening is because the food just tastes good. If the food tastes good, it's a total non-issue. So what yes. ends up happening is the optimal food tastes really good, even though the woman is losing weight, improving her health, the rest of the family, whatever, they just want to eat food. So you make optimal food and it tastes good. Now the actual problem becomes stop eating my leftovers. <laughs> like, where is my food the next day? And I've had multiple husbands just like yours that they end up losing weight. And I've even had husbands get off medication just because they're eating dinner that the wife is making as a client of mine eating optimally. It's really that it has a ripple effect. It's very beautiful. He, Bill has lost five pounds. So. <laughs> So happy to hear that too. Well, tell them I said hi. Thank you so much for being here. Sending you love and strength as you can continue to, to go to the hospital and visit your mom. And mega credit to you for doing this for yourself amongst things being hard. And I'm really, that's a testament to your ability to sustain this. And I'm and I'm glad that you're doing this for yourself and helping yourself like this. Um, yes. amongst that. Thank you. So, you're, you're, you're easy. You are easy to talk to. I'm happy to hear that. Good. Well, I look forward to seeing you next week. Keep kicking butt, sister. You're doing an amazing job. And thank you so much for sharing your story with us. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.